Welcome to Landmark Sports Show, broadcasting live to you from Landmark High School on this Monday, March, when is it, 19th? 19th. We've got a beautiful sunny day. It's a little crisp, a little cool, but it's great weather to be discussing sports, right, Ant? That's right. And we have a full show this week. That's right. Leading off, UFC updates. What we got? That's right. So next UFC event is March is April 7th. As it is in Brooklyn, New York at the Barclays Center, mm -hmm. we have a lightweight title fight between Tony Ferguson, who is the current interim champion, or in my opinion, the real champion. Mm -hmm. And he will face Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right. That sounds like a good one. Yeah, but the problem is we don't know if it's actually going to happen. Because Why not? This fight's been scheduled three times, or, yeah, three times, and the fight hasn't happened yet. Why? Because Khabib gets hurt. Does he get hurt a lot in his career? Yeah. Mm. Weight cutting issues. He doesn't know how to properly keep his weight up. Uh, that's not good. Not at all. Who do you like in this fight? Oh, man, I, I like Tony Ferguson, but it's a tough fight. So you think if Khabib can uh, get there without getting injured, he's got a good shot? Very good shot. I'm taking Khabib. I feel good about him. Man, something... My heart is telling me to go with Tony Ferguson. Mm-hmm. But my brain is telling me to go with Khabib, so it's hard. Yeah, those are the trickiest ones. Um, I'm going to go with Tony Ferguson. All right, all right. I like when we're on opposite sides of things. Yeah, I'm going to go with Tony Ferguson. All right, all right. And then, folks, it is the rematch, rematch. for the women's strawweight title. Rose Namajunas versus Joanna Jacek. Back in November, John picked Rose to knock out Joanna in the first round, and it happened. Best call I've ever made on this show. Now we got the rematch. What do you think? What's this one looking like? I think it's going to be better than the first fight. Yeah? Joanna said that she didn't have a good fight because she had weight cutting issues. Mm, excuses. Excuses. <laughs> well, I mean, as you get older, it's tough to make weight. Yeah. Rose, she's only 25, so it's easy for her. Yeah, that's true. It's harder as you get older. Um, so what are your thoughts on this one? I got Rose Namajunas again. Yeah? Yep. So you think she's going to win again? Yes, but I think this one's going to be back and forth, and I think decision win. I think decision. All right. I'm going Joanna on this one. Yeah. I think that um, she probably took Rose a little bit light last time, and my guess is she's training harder, working harder on this one. She's got um, a little revenge on her mind, and I think she's going to knock her out. Watch, watch John be right again. Watch him want to win by knockout. Feeling good about it. Just watch. Anything, in, uh, any other like little news tidbits in the world of UFC? Um, nothing now. Nothing else going on besides 223? Yeah, nothing else right now. All right, well, I'm sure it'll heat up as we get closer to summer. Oh, yeah. All right. Time for some MLB updates. Are they playing real games yet? Not yet. Still preseason. Hey, next week we're going to start going into the regular season. Yeah, soon, right? It starts next week. Probably not this weekend, but the following. Yep. Yeah. It's time. Spring training is too long. Yankees, March 29th. We start. Is that <laughs> when they start? Yep. That's pretty early. I don't care. I love it. Nice. What's up with your Phillies? Uh, so last time we were on the show, they just signed Arietta. So feeling good about that. Since then, Eikhoff has got injured. He's like, who's going to be like their number three or four starter. He's going to be out, like, probably two months with wow. a lat. And Ooh. lat injuries tend to linger with um, pitchers. Yikes. But I'm still feeling pretty good. They got this young guy, Scott Kingry, who's a second baseman. He might not be up right away, um, but he's going to be up soon. Yeah. He says he's a Chase Utley type, so I like to hear that. So I'm just ready for the real games to start. I'm ready for it to start meaning something. Same. And I'm ready for the Yankees to win the World Series this year. How are your boys looking? Still looking good? Yep. Winning a lot of games? Yep. Judge and Stan. Let's do it. Who's their opening day starter? CC? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I'll or Tanaka, do some, maybe? I'll do some research on that. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah. Probably probably Tanaka or, C or Severino. I don't know. They they kind of like have similar starters. Like They're all pretty good, but none of them are amazing. I feel like Tanaka would be probably the Tanaka, starter. If he's healthy. But um, CC had a great season last year. He did. And Severino. Severino's the most improved player on the Yankees. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Yeah, they're both very good. But if the Yankees have a weakness, it's probably their pitching, right, as opposed to their hitting? Yeah, I would say so. Hmm. So we'll find out. That we shall. Well, Yan Yankees 2018 World Series champions. I'm calling it right now. 
<laughs> what uh, what is for real right now is March Madness. You think you've been keeping up with the games this weekend? <laughs> I've been helping Brian with this bracket. We're doing good so far. Nice, nice. Syracuse. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Underdogs. They they're number eleven and they beat number three. Yeah, they're one of the biggest underdogs left. I mean, you don't really think of Syracuse as an underdog because they're usually a, a good team, but yeah, they're an 11 seed, you know? Yeah, this is amazing. They even had to play a playing game to get into the, the tournament. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty excited about them, though, because I, I do this pool with a couple of my buddies from college, and I had Syracuse, so I was excited. I like Syracuse. Yeah. I think Michigan wins it all. Really? I got Michigan winning it all. I still think Nova. I took Nova in my uh, in my bracket, and in, they they were pretty dominant. I think they look pretty. Yeah, good. Yeah, they're looking really good. I would love to see them versus Michigan. Yeah, you know the craziest bracket is I forget which which it is, but it's the one where Virginia lost. They were one seed. The two seed lost. I think it was Cincinnati. Oh yeah, Virginia lost to the number fifteen yeah. seed. Sixteen, first time ever. Sixteen, first yeah. First time in history. That was crazy. But in this one bracket, it's like the I think Kentucky is the highest seed left as a five seed. All the, the one, four, two, three, six, like they're all gone. It's crazy. That's right. That's what's fun about March Madness, though, you know? I love March Madness. Yeah, I don't watch college basketball at all, like, all year, but then you got to get into March Madness. Oh, of course. That's like how you got to get into the World Cup, which That's is right. coming up. That's right. <laughs> Not too long. In June, World Cup. That'll be along the line later on in our show. That'll be coming. That's right. All right, you want to transition from college to pro? My Thunder are doing amazing. Riding a six-game win streak. And we just beat Toronto. I know, I saw that. I looked on my ESPN app, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be excited. They, uh, they beat Toronto. And Toronto's number one in the East. Yeah, Toronto's playing well. Do you still keep down us? Yeah, I still think they're going to win a series and then get beat. Okay, we'll see about that. How's, you feel? How's your 76ers? They're doing all right. They're, like, they're right where they've been, five, six seed in that area. Playing pretty well. Hey, they're doing much better than people expected. Yeah, I'm excited for the playoffs. I think, you know, I think they can make some noise. I'm ready for the playoffs, though. I think there's only like nine or ten games left, I think. Next month. Yeah. April's going to be a wild month. That's going to be a fun month. It really is. Softball, let's go. All right. I'm going to have to, that's a good lead into our announcement because I'm going to be a spectator for softball. Uh, so, yeah, folks, before we end off the show, I'm going to let John take the floor because he has an announcement that he needs to make regarding the future of our show and our futures here at Landmark. So, John, take it away. So, first I want to say that before I say anything else, that the show will go on. We were, Ant and I talked. Uh, any changes, we're not going to let the show stop. The show's too important. We're not going to, we're not going to end the show. Uh, but I did, I got a, another position. I got an assistant principal's position at another school. Um, so I'm not going to be at Landmark anymore after this week. On Wednesday, I'm leaving. Um, so what does that mean for the show? It means we, we go on. It means we're going to be filming from a different location. And it's going to, and it's going to ride the train down. Luckily, the school I'm at is close to Landmark. Um, so Ant's going to take the train. We're going to film there. We're going to keep doing shows. We're not going to miss a beat. So, um, you know, it's it's important enough. We want to keep it going. Absolutely. I'll make sure to keep them in contact for when I have softball games. Yeah, that's going to be important because I'm going to come watch some softball games, but you're going to have to you have to keep us updated on uh, on the softball games. Yep, I promise I will. And try to get some highlights too. Do some filming. Get some highlights. Yeah. Yeah. So Ant's gonna Ant's gonna still be our landmark softball correspondent. He's gonna keep me in the loop. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep this thing rolling. We're not gonna let a little school change. Cause a hiccup here. Absolutely not. We're not letting the show end. Nope. Keeping it rolling. That's right. All right. Is that it for this week? I think it is. So, folks, out of respect to uh, let John get settled into his new school, we won't be filming next week. So we're going to have two, week, two weeks off in a row. Because mm, of spring our, break, right? Yeah, spring break. But when we come back from spring break, we're going to come back better Better than ever, ready, willing, and gable. That's right. So take keep a, keep an eye out after spring break. We'll be coming back with another show. We'll have March Madness to talk about. By then, we will be into the MLB season, and we'll be in the NBA playoffs. So it's going to be a jam-packed show. And we'll all talk about UFC 223. Yep. So get ready for that. That's right. All right. Thank you guys for watching. 
And uh, have a great few weeks. Have a great few weeks. We'll talk to you soon.